Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. This is uh, Nomio, an amazing Moodle idea on how to create your Moodle site and teach your Moodle courses. It's not just one course, it's a few courses, and all this is for free with ads. However, if you want to stop the ads, you would need to pay. Let's take a look at it and see how easy it is to create your Moodle site. First, you need to decide on a name. Of course, uh, the letters need to be together, no spaces between the letters. So I'm going to call this Moodle for Teachers. .nomeo.com is part of it, and you have no choice about this. Next, I'm going to add my email, and then choose the language. The only thing about this is you can't add plugins, but that's something that uh, is understandable unless you pay. So for the free version, you can add plugins, but that's fine. Nomeo has all that you need for your courses. Click on Create. Wait a few seconds until it happens. There we go. Your site is being created. Within a few minutes, you will receive an email with login details. If you do not receive it, please check your spam folder. And that's what you're going to do. Now, notice over here, you need to uh, disable your ad blocker because I'm using the free account and um, ads need to be enabled. There we go, admin. And then let me add the password that I got. I'm going to change that. Let's update it for now. I'm using Safari. You're better off to use Chrome for some of the plugins, but so far it's okay. Going to go into my preferences so I can start working. First of all, profile, um, add a photo. First thing I'm going to do, there's the ad. First thing I'm going to do is go into the administration over here. Okay, let's go there and see what's available. I wonder if you can register your site, of course. And um, let me take a look at the plugins. Notice uh, I can only manage them. I cannot add a new plugin, but I am going to see if I can use a Gravatar. Okay, if you don't know what a Gravatar is, okay, there we go. I'm going to enable Gravatar and add my Gravatar to my Gravatar. And you'll be able to do this as well. You just follow this, get a, an account on Gravatar, and then you'll be able to use your profile. And others will be able to also get their profile images. If you don't have an account on Gravatar, get one going to choose one of these images or add an image of my own. Let me see what image would I like to be the default image for others. I think that I'm going to add this one or maybe this one. I like this one better. All right, so let me add this one. Um, and I'm not going to add a, the email. Let me just... Um, which one was it? This one, right? Let me just, uh, no, this one. Let me just get the, uh, the link copy image address. Now look what I'm going to do. Let me go back to my Moodle course. I'm going to add it over here so that I have a default image and people don't see this great. Now you can see that my photo is there. There before was just a gray circle. So there it is. That's the first step. Next, I'm going to create a course so I can practice. So let me do that now. Let me go into uh, the 
administration. The administration is over here. It's also over here. Let's click on it. And now I can practice. This is great for teachers so they learn about the back end of Moodle, how to be an admin. Even though in most schools you'll just be a teacher with teacher rights. But I think it's important to be able to know what's behind the scenes. And in case one day you want to teach online and earn a living, make money, you can do that through Moodle. So there's the um, site administration, everything that's available. I'm going to go and we'll go through this, but you can go through it and learn by exploring. Going to go into courses so I can create a course and then add a new course over here. Of course, I need to add a category first, but I can add that later. First of all, let's add the course, and then we'll think of categories. Right now, it's miscellaneous. There's nothing else there, but we can do that later and maybe change the miscellaneous or keep it. All right, so our course name is Moodle for Teachers. That's what I'm going to call it. And this is for Evo 22. Let's give a short name. Notice the red means that it's required. Okay, so there it is, required. Going to add Moodle for Teachers Evo 22. And then show the start date. I'm not going to end have an end date, but I will have a course start date which is January 11 or 12 let's make it 12 and then course ID I don't have to add I can add a description now or later I can add a course image if I like okay let's do the course image for now all right so I've added a course image let's see course format Let's see if they have what I like. They don't. And I can't add a plugin. They used to allow you to add plugins, but now they don't. It's better for them, actually, just in case plugins can compromise a whole Moodle site. So you have to be very careful. Social, I guess we'll keep it at topics. Number of sections, four is enough. Hidden sections are shown and collapsed or completely invisible and then show them one section per page i like that appearance uh, do not force language files and uploads notice they have a 100 mb limit completion tracking it should always be on groups not right now role renaming we don't need that and then we'll save and our course is ready to go now we can add Notice again the uh, ads. How do we add participants? First of all, we need to decide on the enrollment method. So let's do that here. Enrollment methods, click on that. Right now, notice you've got guest or access. If you open this up, self-enrollment. What we'll need to do is to unhide it. So let's do that and we'll set it up unhide it now we're going to go into the settings for the enrollment so we can decide how we want to do it let's click on that we can also add manually of course um let's see custom instance name we don't need to add that allow existing enrollments allow new enrollments yes enrollment key i'm not going to have notice enrollment key we don't i don't need that um, notify before enrollment expires. Don't need that. And then um, maximum unlimited from the course content. They will receive a welcome message. So we can add something or they'll just get the generic message. So I think that's fine. In the meantime, let me add myself. Okay, over here. You might want to have another account besides yourself as the admin. But you don't have to. You can just change your name. So let me go into the admin profile at the top there. Go into the, uh, where are we? Into the edit profile. 
And then instead of admin, I'm going to write my username, which is going to be Nelly. Or you know what? I can keep it admin. You can do that. The username doesn't really matter. Nobody sees that. But for my first name, I'm going to write Dr. Nelly. If you have a doctorate, why not? You should be recognized for that. And then my last name or surname is Deutsch, my email. And, um, and I think that's done. I don't need to add an image because I already have one. There, now it says my full name. All right. And I think now we're all set to start the courses. So let's go to our dashboard over here where the course will appear. Let's go back there. Dashboard. Is our course there? No, it's not. And the reason it's not is because we didn't enroll in our own courses. Even though as admin, we can view all the courses. Let's go back to courses. We still need to enroll ourselves to be able to have it appear in our dashboard. So as long as I'm here under the management, I'm going to change miscellaneous because I don't like that. So let's change miscellaneous to something more appealing and the categories are here there is miscellaneous okay i'm going to go into the editor click on that and change edit change miscellaneous to learning to teach online with moodle all right nope out the three all right so that's learning to teach online i don't know if we need the moodle let's leave that out learning to teach online is good enough now my course is under learning to teach online as you can see now going you can create courses from here we're going to go into the course so i can enroll and have it in my dashboard as i said we're going to scroll down there's the course all right, I'm going to go into the enrolled users and I'm not one of them, so I'm going to enroll myself. And I do this by going into enroll users. Now only users that are in the system will appear over here. So you can see that uh, it's only me. I'm the only one in this Moodle site. All right, so uh, what role shall I give myself? Well, I'm not going to give myself a student role because even if I do, I'm still going to have admin rights. So let me just make myself a teacher so I can appear. Teachers generally appear in the course. Now I'm going to go to my dashboard over here so I can see the course. There we are. Dashboard. And here's my course right there. Now notice the image is coming up. It's really huge. I wouldn't do that because it's going to slow your Moodle site down. So you don't really need to have an image. Look how long it's taking just to come up because it's pretty heavy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not gonna add a lot of images, especially not in a course because it is taking look it still hasn't come up yet there's still more to go all right or just uh, minimize it make it really really small notice there are different ways of viewing the courses by course name or card now i'm going to log out now you log out by going to the top right so let's do that log out and that's it this is my Moodle site that's what it looks like notice over here let's open it up there's home there's the name of the site and in order to view anything participants will need to log in so they'll need to go into the login if you want to fix that you can let me show you how 
so that the appearance is slightly different. I'm going to go back, let me add my details. I haven't changed my password yet. I'll have to do that later on. Going to go into site administration again. There's my course there, Moodle for Teachers Evo 22, in case you missed that. And this time I'm going to go to authentication appearance. Under appearance, I will see various things. Notice there are two themes that I can choose from, boost or classic. Right now it's boost, not classic. And um, let's go into authentication. There we are, authentication, so that our front page looks slightly different. Okay, there's authentication over here. Notice manage authentication. Right now there's email or manual accounts. Right now you need to just click login, but how are you going to create new accounts? Or how are students going to be able to create their accounts? So I need to go into manage authentication. And this is where I set it up. Notice there are a lot of hidden. Okay, this is hidden. This is the only one available. And there are different ways. This one, I'm not sure I'll be able to do this, but I can try. All right, so let's unhide these and see if it's available here. Um, and so we've got by services disables. This is self email based. Okay, next what we're going to do is save, of course, otherwise we won't have the information. And then we can go into site administration and OAUTH2. See if that's available by default, and it is. Under authentication services, we can add Google, but we need to have, uh, well, it's a process. We'll need to follow instructions. Microsoft, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. And this is uh, rather time consuming, but if you're interested, let me know. I've got a few videos on how this could be done. Let's go back into site administration and authentication under plugins. I don't know why they put it there, but they did. Wonder if under overview we can do anything here. No, not very much. But you can see what's available though. Can't add anything. Some things are disabled. But most are there. Let's go back now into plugins and we want to add self registration. That means the students will be able to register on their own using their email. They'll get a user or they'll add their user and they'll be able to log in with their username and password. I see that they also have payments, which means that you can also make money. Right. All right. So let's go into plugins and authentication. I'm here. I'm just going in a different way. There are multiple ways of doing things on Moodle and you'll learn more about that. It could be confusing, but it's all actually very, very easy to manage. Look, they've already added recapture. That's nice. So they're, <laughs> they're saving themselves. All right. Which is good. So this is going to be a safe site. Click on enable email and then allow login by email. I like this because I, I prefer to log in with my email. I can use my email as my username and I think that's a nice feature. All right, so now we'll save it and now you'll be able to register on my site at any time and take that course. Allowed email domains. I don't need this. I don't know why that was. It should have saved it. Let's make sure. For some reason, it wants to restrict my email address. I guess I shouldn't add this. 
Let's see if that works. If you get into something like this, there. Oh, it's still there. Let me disable this by email and then it should work. Because that's a security issue. And now anyone, you for example, can join my Moodle site. All you need to do is create an account and join my course, the one course that I have so far. Hope this has helped and you'll be able to create your very own Moodle site and see what it's like. And invite students to take your courses as you try things out. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.